Okay, here we have a very crude crop gauge. And if I try and hold the camera while looking around, we can see how accurate the y-axis moves. Minus one millimetre, it's one millimetre a turn on that gauge. Can look fairly accurate, but it will probably jump a bit funny when we go back the other way. But considering how crudely I've got this rigged, you can see it's fairly, fairly good. But it's not quite as good on the plus and minus point one. It's not bad. Steps aren't exactly fine enough for that. Sometimes it sort of has a half step in between. Anyway, I'll see if I can rig this up on the x axis and try that, but I expect it will be pretty much the same. Okay, here we have the gauge blue tax to the x-axis. Give that a go. Again, we can try the point one. You see, it has, see it has a sort of half step in between that one. Sometimes it's fairly good, and sometimes it's sort of half steps in between. And we can try a whole millimeter. We've still got quite some movement left. Fairly consistent within about 0.1. That's because I moved it the opposite way. The gauge moved. Depending on whether there's a step sort of in between the range of 0.1 of a millimetre where it stops. And if we come forwards a bit. Try moving away, we'll get it just moving away one to get it set, and then we'll try moving ten. So if it's at sixty five there, it should come somewhere within point one of that. And it did. I'll try plus ten but it will pick up it. Let's try that again. Just go backwards a little first, so it's settled. Minus thing. Yeah, it came back almost exactly the same place, so that's actually quite accurate over at least a reasonable distance, but on the small distances, like point 0.1 is where it isn't quite as accurate. 